Tau Ping Airlines Math Industry, and this is going to be another example of finding the missing information in a 3D shape. And what we're going to be working with is spheres today. So, here is the sample problem. The volume of a sphere is 904.32 inches cubed, and the missing information is the radius. What is the radius? That's what we're going to try and find, because the volume is already solved for us, but what's missing is the radius. Remember, the volume of the sphere, the volume equals 4 over 3 pi r cubed. r cubed represents the radius cubed. So, we're going to color that in green to remind us that that's what we're going to try to find. There is one way to find the radius cubed. The way we can do it is Put this formula into an equation and try to solve it by simplifying. And we're going to try and get radius cubed alone. So, here's our equation. We have the volume of this whole sphere, which is 904.32. That is what's already solved for us. But, we have the formula there and that radius cubed. Try to get the radius cubed alone. So, we're going to have to do this. Since the people that solved the formula to get this volume and to get this answer, what we're going to try and do is reverse the way they did it. So, we're going to do things in reverse to find the radius cubed. It's just like driving a car forward, but if you want to go back, you shift it into reverse, and then drive it backwards. Back it up. Okay, okay. Shift into reverse, SpongeBob. Oh yeah, the bird. Huh? Back it up. Back it up. Give me a little SpongeBob. Give me a wheel. Back it up. Back it up. So, instead of finding the answer for the volume, we're going to put things in reverse. So, the first step we do will become the last step we do. And the last step we do will become the first step. Like, for example, the last step in the volume of a sphere is to divide by 3. Since we're in reverse, we're going to have to multiply by 3 and multiply this by 3. So, we multiply 3 by 904.32, we're going to get an answer of 2712.96. 2712.96. Because, the last step for finding the volume is to divide by 3, but since we're going into reverse, the opposite is multiplying by 3. Then we get this answer. And that would equal 4 pi r cubed. We no longer see that 3 anymore because we have one step ahead of getting that r cubed alone. The next step is before we divide by 3, the step before that for finding the volume is to multiply by 4. So, instead of multiplying, we're going to have to divide that by 4. 
So if we divide this by 4, we're going to get an answer of 678.24 hundredths. And then we'll get pi r cubed. We have pi r cubed left. And there are two steps left to get that r cubed isolated. With pi, we multiply the radius cubed to get 904 for the volume. But since we're going backwards, the opposite of multiplying is dividing. So we have to divide both sides by pi. Pi is going to be 3.14 to make it easier. So if we divide both sides by pi, these two will cancel out because they're the same. So, 678.24, if we divide that by 3.14, the replacement of pi, we're going to get an answer of 216. And that would equal r cubed, because that 2 pi got eliminated. So now we have 216 equals radius cubed. If we want to find the radius, which is the missing information, then we're going to have to find the cube root of this. So, what times what times what equal 216? But all of these have to be the same answer. Because if we say 2 for the radius, that would be 2 times 2 times 2. That would equal to 8. So what number multiplied by itself three times can equal 216? If we multiply 6 by 6 by 6, 6 and 6, that's 36. And if we multiply that by 6 again, that'll be 216. So we did it. The radius is going to be 6. That's what the missing information is for the sphere. Awesome! We did it! Instead of finding the answer for volume, we had to do it in reverse. Then we'll be able to find out what one of the steps was. Thank you for watching Taoping Airlines Math Industry. Like and subscribe. To end the video, watch Mario be pushed off a platform by Chain Chomps in Super Mario Galaxy.